Get serious in your work with God. Get serious in your work. If you be committed to Jesus, you are committed to your telephone and chatting, you will see a great tomorrow. You're wasting your life. Don't waste it. Don't waste it. Don't waste it. Don't waste it. At 23, I found out that my future is in his plan, not in my plan. So I surrendered my plan willingly to his plan. Lord, show me your plan because my future is in your plan, not in my plan. In those days, access to live in the U.S. was cheap, easy. I remember my wife asked me that uh, won't I take security number? It was happening behind our hotel. I said, I don't need it. I'm secured. I've never wished in my life to live anywhere else but where God wants me to be. And it's working. It's working like fire. It's working like fire. I might not bless that I'm alive. And I'm seeing men like Emmanuel and several others who have come to discover God's plan by being where God said for me to be and are flying in their respective areas. I'm more than blessed. That's what life is all about. It's not about jumping the fence to anywhere you can find. Find where God's plan is for you and settle in there. The end time army is an army. It's not... It's, uh, <laughs> It's not a religious group. It's an army. He said, they shall walk everyone in his way, everyone in his path. They shall not breathe their hands. And what will happen by them, the world has never seen it before, not that there will be any after them till the years or many generations. So getting to know where you belong is where your star is. I met some individual. What's happening to you? He said, I'm going to form my master. I said, what do you intend to do with it? Where just to go? What? Just to go at are you school here? What's wrong with you? It's not about just going. What is your vision? What are you driving at? Life is so short, it has no spare. Life is so short, it has no spare. By my undying passion for God and His Word, I discovered at 16 from Revelation 5.10 that I'll be redeemed as a priest and a king to reign on the earth. It got so much hold on me that I would ask myself at that tender age, boy, will a king go out like this? No. David, go and change. Will a king shout on the street? No. Quiet. Will a king rest you in his village? No. David, no. No matter who provokes you. At the age of 16, it got a hold on me. It's not enough to gain access to light, but to walk in the light. I saw there it was good for a young man that he bears his yoke in his youth, in his youth. And I went and prayed at 16, Jesus, whatever yoke I would need to bear when I'm old, let me bear it now. Help me to bear it now. That was at 16. You get into old. Get serious in your work with God. Get serious in your work. If you be committed to Jesus, you are committed to your telephone and chatting, you will see a great tomorrow. 